be all very welcome. We uh, will start now the uh, second uh, graduate program on chemical engineering, on chemical engineering uh, international workshop uh, addresses in industrial uh, biotechnology. We will have a short uh, overture and I'm going to call to the stage uh, Professor Eloisa Raujo, who is Provost for Research in UFISCAR at the University of San Carlos, and Professor Deborah Pinto, who is uh, Provost Prisoners. Professor Deborah Pinto is Provost of uh, Graduate Studies in our University, and Professor Paulo Tazioli, who is the Research Coordinator of the Chemical Engineering Department, and here uh, representing the Head of the Department. Paulo, please. Okay. Right. Uh, Professor uh, Eloisa uh, reminds me that she is talking on behalf of Professor Tajimo Araujo. Uh, no, sorry, Araujo. Yeah, it's Araujo, uh, but he's not Araujo. Uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, she's uh, speaking on behalf of our, of our rector, Professor Tajimo Araujo. Uh, I will also uh, start. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of the President of Federal University of São Carlos, Professor Tajino de Aranjo Filho, I would like to welcome all the participants of the second international workshop of the graduate program on chemical engineering of the Federal University of São Carlos in advances in industrial biotechnology. I would like to especially greet all the invited speakers uh, and Professor Deborah Pinto, Provost of Graduate Affairs, Professor Paulo Targioli, here as the head of the Department of in Engin Chemical Engineering, and my colleague, Professor Roberto Giordano, our host at this workshop. This meeting is a great opportunity for our researchers and graduate students to be in close contact with the experts in the field of industrial biotechnology. The expectation is that this workshop will create an atmosphere for a strong interaction between research groups. The Department of Chemical Engineering, as well as the Graduate Program of Chemical Engineering of UFSCar, is one of the major national references in the field of industrial biotechnology. Industrial biotechnology is, without cash question, among the main social, economic, political, scientific, and technological challenges posed to all nations, mainly to Brazil. There is an urgent need to improve our biotechnological park if we want to achieve economic and independent development. Our industries search continuously for academic partnerships, and we need to strengthen our networks of collaboration in order to promote national development. Brazilian government is making major investment in the internationalization of higher education and research, mostly through the Science Without Borders program. This investment takes place in a new context in which our students and researchers have the opportunity to improve their training within this international experience and, at the same time, are prepared to offer highly significant contributions to research groups with which Brazil has signed cooperation agreements. However, the internalization needs to be qualified. 
students and researchers mobility must result in the consolidation of perennial research networks, especially those related to major national and global challenges, such as biotechnology. It is from this perspective that I congratulate all the organizers of this workshop, and I wish all of us a nice and proficuous work during these two days. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Eloisa. Now, Professor Deborah. Well, good morning, and only to complete the words of my colleague, I would like to congratulate the professors of the graduate program on chemical engineering. Uh, that uh, is a program that develops a high level work of research that is very important to our university and to the country. I would like to congratulate the organization of this international meeting, especially Professor Roberto Giordano. I would also welcome all the guests, all the participants. I hope you have a productive day of work. You enjoy our campus, our university, and you come back soon. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. And now, Professor Paulo Tardioli. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Professor Monica Lopes Aguiar, the head of the Chemical Engineer Department, I would like to welcome everyone to the second international workshop on, of the graduate program on chemical engineering of the Federal University of São Carlos. It's a great pleasure and honor to welcome here so renowned uh, specialists, speakers, speakers on biotechnology. I would like uh, to wish to a very pleasant and fruitful event to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. So now I have my one hour speech. <laughs> uh, well, really, uh, short, uh, some short remarks. Uh, this is the second international workshop of the graduate chemical engineering program of Federal University of São Carlos. Uh, our program has as one of its missions the diffusion of, of advances on science and technology in our field and in related areas. So this is the second annual uh, workshop. And first of all, I'd like to thank very, very much our distinguished uh, guest speakers, all renowned in their fields. It's really a pleasure and an honor to have all of you here. And I'd like also to acknowledge what is essential, the funding from two uh, research agencies, CAPES and FAPESPS, who made it possible. And of course, the support of the university providing all this excellent infrastructure for us to do a good job. And to finish, uh, I see uh, several uh, students in the audience, so uh, I'd like to uh, deliver two uh, short messages for you, especially the young students that are starting uh, to work in this fascinating field of research. Uh, you will be our future researchers and entrepreneurs in uh, innovation and in high-tech uh, enterprises. So uh, what I'd like to see, to, to call you uh, attention is that, well, as you can see, our program spans a broad range of subjects. Uh, because all you know that, already. Biotech is by nature an inter- and multidisciplinary uh, subject. Uh, and industrial biotechnology is even more 
besides adding the knowledge of basic science and engineering, you have also economics, you have even law and regulation. You have to put together people uh, who has background in these different areas if you really want to succeed. Succeed is to have the product on the shelf. So available uh, for uh, consumption and for the welfare of mankind. So, uh, reminding you that science and technology nowadays, uh, and especially biotech, has this multidisciplinary feature, and that knowledge grows at the interfaces. So, uh, the second point for our students uh, that I hope you can remember and carry on is that uh, sometimes the best ideas come from outside your strict research subject. So it's very important to pay attention on all, even sometimes you think that, oh, that's, that's nothing to do with my thesis. Why should I hear about subject A if I'm working on subject B? Many, many times the best ideas come from outside your strict research work. And this is uh, an exceptional opportunity for you to uh, see how the frontier of knowledge in our area is today. Uh, this is part of your formation, of your uh, becoming, process of becoming really researchers at the uh, frontier of your field. Nothing that you can, will re, uh, see here will be lost. Finally, uh, unfortunately, I, I have to tell you that Professor Dordic uh, had a health problem in his family. His son had to be admitted to a hospital, and so we, he will not be present. We all hope that his recovery is quick, but it was a last minute uh, change in our schedule. So tomorrow uh, we will start at 8.30 with Professor John uh, Woodley's uh, speech and then uh, Professor Michael Levish and then we will close the, uh, the, the workshop. Uh, well, thank you all for the, being here audience and again especially our invited guests and thank you and we are going to start now the, the works okay